On this episode of Geek Dad Life, we're going to review the new Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal from General Mills. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Geek Dad Life. It's your host, Jay Gladfelter here. I am an absolute Ghostbusters fanatic and have done tons of videos on this subject and intend to do more. So if you like this one and want me to do more of them, click that like button. And if you want to see when my future Ghostbusters episodes drop, click the subscribe button and that bell icon. So yes, I was able to get my hands on one of these boxes of the newly released, you know, just hitting grocery store shelves now, Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal from General Mills. And uh, super excited to get my hands on this because uh, for, you know, any kid growing up in the 80s into the 90s, the Ralston uh, Ghostbusters Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters, Slimer and the real Ghostbusters cereal was a staple. And this Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal is a direct descendant of that original Ralston Ghostbusters cereal. Ralston brands were bought out by General Mills in the mid 90s. And while this features corn puffs instead of the corn no ghost O's, they're both fruit flavored and they're also paired with ghost marshmallows. So really neat that this is a part of the promotion, part of the tie in to uh, the Ghostbusters Afterlife film. And we've known about it for a long time. Uh, but it was held back, you know, with the movie getting delayed. So let's start with the box. I mean, honestly, it's one of the most essential components to a kid's cereal. And this one does not disappoint. You have the big Ghostbuster logo, the Ghostbusters Afterlife logo. Um, you have the big bowl of cereal. Uh, and it shows the different marshmallows. We have the, you know, the typical ghost. But we also have a, a blue one representing Muncher. Um, we have the mini puffs looking cute as always. Um, and then on the side, we have more mini puffs. With a proton stream going through the three pieces of this cereal, the two marshmallow pieces, one ghost, one representing Muncher, as well as the fruit flavored puffs. So on the back, you have a really fun little survey, you know, asking, do you have what it takes to be a Ghostbuster? You know, you answer these questions and you kind of tally up your score. And, uh, you know, like, so one of the questions, do you believe ghosts are real, uh, A, B, or C? Depending on how excited you are in your responses, kind of shows you where you're ranking uh, and really uh 15 18 you're gonna be a ghostbusters leader 11 to 14 welcome to the ghostbusters team 7 to 10 i keep trying you're almost there and if you're six or lower uh afraid you're e too easily frightened to join uh the team so i think that's a really fun uh little thing there in the back you have some more mini puffs again you have the afterlife ghostbusters no ghost logo and then you actually have uh muncher uh eating a warning sign uh, in the bottom left-hand corner. So uh, I love the back of cereal boxes. It's one of the you know most essential components uh, to a cereal, uh, at least for me, because that, that was you know before tablets and iPads, or even I would read a newspaper as a kid. You just you read the back of the cereal box, and uh, so I think this one's a lot of fun. You have the nutrition facts on the other side. Uh, pretty simple, top and bottom. Uh, so overall, the packaging is great. It's simple. It doesn't need to do much. When you have a big no ghost logo with the back uh, black background, you have the cereal. You have some mini puffs. I think it strikes that perfect cereal box. And it really, again, evokes the feeling of the original Ralston cereal uh, from the 80s and 90s, uh, specifically the earlier ones where it just had the no ghost logo on there. Uh, so a, a nice nostalgic hit. It also it brings you into the new movie that's coming out and it checks all of the right boxes. So I think that's really, really cool. All right, enough talking about the box. Let's get to the cereal. Now, one thing of note about cereal boxes nowadays is they're really thin. The, the front is about as wide as it used to be, but this it's really thin. Um, so I'm gonna take out the bag. Um, my one thing with marshmallow cereals these days is there's just not enough marshmallows. Uh, and looking at the bag it is pretty sparse uh, on the marshmallow front. I've got a green bowl because I feel like Ghostbusters cereal should be uh, eaten out of a green bowl. Now, I don't like milk, uh, so I'm just gonna be eating this cereal without the milk. You can call me all sorts of names if you want to. I just, I, I'm not a fan of milk. Let's give the bag a smell test. Let's see. Ooh, that smells good. Very sweet, very berry. As you can see, it's a little light on the marshmallows. So hopefully you like the berry puffs. So let's see. Usually I use a hand when I eat cereals. I don't like milk, but I'll, I'll use a spoon just for effect here. Here is the first bite. Let's see how it tastes. It's actually pretty darn good. I'm trying to remember. It's very similar, or at least same kind of setup as the original Ralston cereal, because it was the fruity, no-ghost logos with the marshmallows. 
So um, again, it's it's hard to remember because it was so long ago. Um, so maybe more, you know, seasoned experts, serial experts would be able to, to say with more of a definitive answer. But it absolutely echoes uh, the same type of flavor profile as the original cereal. So I think that's pretty cool. Marshmallows are great. Again, wish there was more, but they just don't really do that with cereal nowadays. Because even just kind of going through it, it's very sparse on that front. But the, the fruity prefs are uh, really good. They taste good. Um, so again, I think it's a pretty good combination of flavors. Um, it's a little dry if it's just the puffs. But if you get the marshmallows in there, that's kind of your your best combo of flavor. Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal. Much like any, you know, promotional tie cereal, to me, it never beats the the greats, you know, the, uh, the Captain Crunch Berries or Fruity Pebbles or one of those. But I think it, the fact that they kind of went after the same type of cereal that the original one was in the 80s, I think is awesome. The fact that it's tying into the new movie is great. So uh, it's been kind of hard to find, but it's just now hitting grocery store shelves. So my my hope is, you know, I've seen some of the secondary prices are a little crazy for a box of cereal. My hope is eventually uh, it will be more widely distributed, especially, you know, with the movie coming out in the fall, tying in with Halloween time, you know, maybe more and more will hit store shelves around then. Uh, Cause I feel like this cereal absolutely should be, uh, you know, alongside classic Halloween cereals. Cause I mean, again, it's the Ghostbusters cereal. That's like, that's perfect for Halloween. That was in, in 2016 when they brought back High C Ecto, Ecto Cooler. It was one of the, the coolest things to happen to Ghostbuster fans. And I still am holding out hope, crossing my fingers that we'll still get a uh, high seas Ecto Cooler brought back in time for the movie. Doesn't look like it's happening yet, but I'm gonna hope. Um, but this time round, if we're getting back the, you know, uh, original Ghostbuster seal, and it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. That's a really neat side effect uh, to this uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife movie coming out. It's, it's the toys, it's the return of the Kenner classics, it's all the new stuff. And then also Ghostbuster cereal to go along with it uh, is awesome in my book. Uh, this box of Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal definitely gets the Geek Dad Life buy rating. Definitely check out some of my other videos like this one that YouTube wants you to check out and one of my more recent videos. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.